Well, the Edinburgh International Festival was created in 1947 and so over seven decades we have been at the forefront of presenting international artists in front of this great city's audiences. One of the things the International Festival can do is offer opportunities to professionals in Scotland and in Edinburgh, but perhaps more importantly to emerging artists and young dancers, choreographers. So this summer we are creating an opportunity for 25 dancers to take to the Festival Theatre stage with Alvin Ailey Company as a professional debut and what an exciting first job that would be. The call out was aimed at emerging Scottish dancers who either live in Scotland, have trained in Scotland or were born in Scotland. So really reaching out to the breadth of Scottish talent. We wanted the call out to go as wide as possible to ensure that we had a wide reach and that we had a really diverse opportunity. Alvin Ailey American Dance Theatre first came to the festival in the late 1960s and so a return to the festival stage has been long overdue. They are really one of the most exciting dance companies in the world. They have a rich provenance, they have an expansive repertoire of works across the dance styles and they have some of the most fantastic dancers that you'll see on stage. Alvin Ailey to me really represents an organisation that has really persevered. It's quite hard, I think, to last, to endure actually uh, within, within the dance sector and Alvin Ailey have really demonstrated that and as one of you know, the world's biggest kind of black dance companies as well, I think it's something for a lot of people to aspire to as well. I think it's a great story with Alvin Ailey and I'm really happy that they're in our building and that they're going to be in our city later in the year. Working with companies of this scale and profile, as you might expect, takes many years to bring to fruition. And in this particular case, we've also had the COVID years to deal with. But finally, in 2023, we've been able to bring the company to Edinburgh for this year's International Festival. This project is specifically led by the Edinburgh International Festival and we are the hosts. What I really like about it is that it's this amazing professional development opportunity for young dancers in Scotland. I mean, the chance to work with Alvin Ailey Company and be on the same stage is just really phenomenal. And I really appreciate that Edinburgh International Festival, they are really committed to kind of opening doors and creating possibilities and they have a lot of ability to do that and I'm glad to see them doing it. So we were overwhelmed with responses and applications for this opportunity, as you might imagine. And we're hoping to audition about 150 dancers over the course of a couple of days. What I really love is this particular opportunity that we get to offer them. They will be performing side by side with the dancers of the preeminent modern dance company in the world. You know, it's an opportunity that is very, very rare. And to be inside a great work of art such as Memoria, you know, is an opportunity that not many people get. So I feel very privileged to be able to be part of offering this opportunity to these young dancers. This piece was choreographed by Alvin Ailey in 1979 as a tribute to a dear friend of his that passed away suddenly. This was choreographed using the entire uh, Ailey umbrella, using the first company, the Alvin Ailey American Dance Theatre, as well as Ailey II and the Ailey School as a tribute to this woman, Joyce Trisler, who really had a great effect on so many dancers. So Alvin wanted to create something that would really exemplify the big effect that she had on so many people's lives. So it's a big celebration of her life. They will be rehearsing with Ronnie for two weeks, only two weeks to learn the piece. And over those rehearsals daily, they will be learning the choreography of Memoria. And then in the final stages, they will be getting into the theatre, working with the uh, wider company of dancers, getting to meet them, and finally taking to the festival theatre stage to perform. The audition was rather brief, it was just an hour and um, we learned parts of what we would learn in um, the rehearsal process. But all in all, it seemed like it was just to kind of see you in the room and to see whether you kind of rose to the occasion or kind of like quivered. Um, and Ronnie mentioned that to us afterwards where it was just to kind of see a bit of your personality and see how you'd stand out. Yeah, the best advice I got in college was it's not about how good you are it's about whether someone can bear being with you in a van for three months on tour um, but it's true 
when they audition, they're looking at who you are as a person. So the perseverance of kind of failing and not getting where you want to be, but kind of not losing that hope and that spark and that drive, that's the only thing that's going to keep you going because it's not an easy career. So if you're expecting it to be easy, you're just setting yourself up for disappointment every time. And then when you get opportunities like this, it confirms everything you've been working towards. We take it for granted growing up here, but it really is a, an international city and it's gorgeous, you know? You have access to so much. You've got the sea just over there. You've got hills just behind you. You've got architecture and museums within the city itself. My first performance away from high school was on Leith Walk, uh, and it was just in an alleyway. So people could walk past and you'd have so, all sorts of folk drunk shouting at you and they could just wander in and then wander out. Uh, and that was back in 2016, so seven years later to be in the Festival Theatre, it's, it's quite a big transition, uh, but it's one that's pretty cool. The audition process was really good and um, it was a really relaxed environment. It was probably one of the most like, um, not easiest auditions I've done, but kind of less stressful and they kind of always made sure that we felt welcomed ever since the first beginning of starting this Alvin Ailey process. I've always felt quite comfortable whenever I emailed them, they would always email back straight away. Like I felt supported and I knew the, that this process, this um, experience would be good. I've been to Scotland like six times previously before moving here and so already kind of felt like home. My dad, he originally was born in Scotland, in Fife, and he was part of like that 10 pound pong scheme in the 60s. And so he came over to Australia when he was eight um, and his family like started a life there in Melbourne. So I've always had these Scottish connections because my dad, out of all his Scottish family, like he's the only one that moved out of Scotland. So everyone else is basically in Scotland. I love the old town and I love that kind of like old aesthetic being in the old town with the cobblestones everywhere and having the castle in the background, it's, it's so beautiful. And the history, I'm a big history buff because same as like my dad, he's a big history buff so we all like bounce off each other. And I love learning about the stories of Edinburgh. It was kind of perfect when I had this dream of pursuing a musical theatre in the UK because we had this base to go to and because all my cousins were here, if my parents were in Melbourne it didn't feel like I was that far away from home because I had my family here as well. The audition process was really quick. It was an hour in the room so it was making sure that you were seen but also making sure that you were being seen doing the right thing. And I think the way Ronnie took the audition, she made it really fun. It was one of the best auditions I think I've ever done. I think definitely young dancers lead a nomadic lifestyle. My dad used to nickname me the nomad when I was younger because I would never be in one place for too long. I grew up in the countryside of Aberdeenshire. It's called Barthel Chapel, a really tiny village. We're just three houses in the middle of a field and I had a very, you could say, sheltered life. <laughs> Moving to London was a big change. I found London very overwhelming to begin with and I missed the quiet of home. But quite quickly, now when I go home, I miss the busyness of London. I love that it's always alive. Like, you're never alone. Someone's always awake. And I think what I didn't like at the start is now what I absolutely love about London. To really start your career, you need to go wherever that job's gonna take you. There was a point where I'd been in five different cities every Christmas for five years. And I honestly was like, how have I done that? But I also think it's a really special thing because you get to see so many different parts and you make little homes in each city that you go to. So it is really lovely, but it's hard living like that. You do feel like you've never quite settled. It felt very special to go back to Scotland for this performance. And it was just, honestly, I stepped off the plane and I was, you breathe in the Scottish air and you just feel at home. This is an age group or an experience group that I really enjoy working with because they're just on the cusp of stepping out professionally. And so, you know, the world is uh, wide open before them. Still, you know, there's the hope, there's the excitement about being able to dance. 
Rehearsals have been so great. Ronnie is a great teacher. And I feel like I've improved so much. Like I'm already a dancer and I've already had like my 10 years plus of training. But even in the three days, because we're learning from such like experienced people all the way from New York City, it's like, it's a whole different outlook and a different type of teaching experience that I'm learning so much so quickly. Everything like, is a challenge but I don't think it's like an obstacle if that makes sense you know like it's you have to work hard to get it done like every day I'm sweating buckets uh, I'm exhausted and like I feel the work but I, isn't that like what you're here for I'm very much a rookie at the moment and I'm trying to earn my stripes you know I think the only way to describe it is Ronnie said at the start of the week she was like just be a sponge and absorb everything and I think that is literally what like I've just done this week and it's just been amazing. It is like a proper like, pinch me moment. Like you do just think like, wow, I'm really doing this. So it's been really nice. The cool thing about dance, it's a form that you can teach without language and it allows you to meet people that you never would have met and immediately build a rapport and connect with them. Everywhere you go, you get close to people so quickly because when we dance, we're obviously partnering people, we're touching people. Like, it's odd that like, you're just so comfortable with people so much faster than I think I would be in any other situation. And mentally, then it can be hard as well because then once that job's over and you leave, those people are gone. But in the moment, that grip around you really bring you up. It was exciting to meet all the new dancers and where they're from. I didn't really know what to expect where people had come from. I thought a lot of people would have little to no experience, but then some people had toured around the globe already. So I was like, wow. And then I got to learn what they'd done. And I was like, it really is a privilege to dance with you and also be a part of Alvin Ailey. <laughs> For the first time ever, we danced with the Alvin Ailey company today, full out, and yeah, it was pretty amazing. It was less scary, it's still terrifying, but less scary than I imagined, because everyone's so lovely, like all the company members, they were really nice, so it wasn't like, oh, I imagine them all being like 10 foot tall. It's been really amazing because it pushes everyone to go further. I found myself working harder because I'm working right next to them. I can feel their energy right next to them. I can feel their deep breathing. I can feel their sweat like flicking off me and I'm like, I need to be sweating more. And so I have to work harder. Being in their presence and seeing how strong they are and how um, disciplined they are. Uh, you can learn a lot just from being in the room with them and they're all pretty nice people. So it's even better working with them. Rehearsing with the youth ensemble today was really fun. It was very seamless in the way that we put everything together. It was a new kind of energy, so I'm very excited about the performance. The first time I performed Memoria as a student, I would say it was exhilarating and terrifying all at the same time. There's so much energy, there's so many people. As a student, you don't want to mess up, you don't want to get in the company member's way. I guess like it hyped everyone up a bit but it also stirred a lot more emotions. I even started crying afterwards because it just like stirred up this levels of like we're all so tired but we're also so excited but we're stressed out, we've got a lot of anxiety leading up to the performance, like we don't want to fail anyone. Advice that I would give to my younger self is to enjoy much more than be terrified. Things feel easier. Um, there's much more freedom, there are more options physically and artistically when you sort of allow yourself to shed a little bit of the fear. The Edinburgh International Festival is committed to supporting future talent and emerging talent because otherwise we won't have a festival in the future. The festival has always been known for profiling and seeking out finding new talent and introducing them to the world stage. And we are committed to that going forward also to nurture emerging artists, to seek them out and to have them connect with each other. And as people are entering the industry, it's so important for them to have an experience of best practice. And with this project, we've really tried to make it the best first job in the industry.
Sometimes you get those feelings where you kind of question like what you want to do in life and you're just like, do I really love this? But then it's those moments when you go back on stage and you're like, ah, oh, this is why. On stage dancing, it feels great. It is like you do forget what's going on and I don't see the audience. I'll come off stage and my friends ask if I saw them. I didn't see anyone in that audience. Like, you're just in the moment. I have a new sense of confidence that I didn't have before, but I know I've not made it yet. I know I still have a lot of hard work to do and there's a lot to come, but doing this project and having the feedback that we had gives me confidence of, okay, you're allowed to be here. You have a place in this industry. It's all up to you now. Like whatever you do with it is what you get out of it. If you do nothing, this is all you do. But if you really hammer at it, there's no telling what's coming next. <laughs>